friction roll a ball on the floor and watch its motion you will find that the ball stops after some time although no external force has been applied on it so it means there is a force might be acting on the ball that opposes the motion of the ball this force is known as friction friction is a force that opposes motion it acts in opposite direction to motion force of friction arises due to contact between the two surfaces what is the main cause of friction the main cause of friction is interlocking of irregularities when an object moves in a rough surface the speed of object slows down and finally come to rest when you observe the contact between two surfaces then you see that there are many irregularities on it even a smooth looking surface has a large number of irregularities these irregularities get interlocked when one object tries to move over another and this is the reason that opposes the motion of a body and cause of friction factors affecting friction let us understand with the help of an activity take a ball and roll it on the top of a wooden table we find that the ball stops after traveling a short distance but if we roll the ball on a glass top placed on the table it travels comparatively a longer distance before it stops since the glass surface is smooth while the wooden surface is rough so friction is more on the rough surface and less on the smooth surface so the first factor is roughness or smoothness of the surface if we push a box to move it we have to exert some force now if we place one more box on it and push them together to move we have to exert a force greater than before it means that the force of friction depends on the mass of the moving body greater the weight greater is the force of friction so the factors affecting frictions are number 1 depends on the nature of the surface in contact number 2 depends on the mass of the body